Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. In 1926, Rudolf L. Hanna presented to the American Dental Association five factors. Relative cusp height, compensating curve, conlar guidance, plane of orientation, and incisal guidance. These five factors he called the articulation quint. These five factors, when interrelated, can be applied to this Hanau H2 articulator and thereby achieve mechanical articulation. Mechanical articulation as such is the predisposing factor to balanced occlusion, which we see in the patient. This element of the articulator is called the condylar element. As you can see by the writing inscribed on this element of the articulator, it is called the horizontal condylar guidance. By loosening this bolt and this nut on the top part of the articulator, it then allows us to move this element in this fashion. When the patient's protrusive record is recorded and it is placed on the articulator, this part is moving in the posterior vicinity and this element is rotated until the record is interdigitated. It is then tightened and one may now read in this part of the articulator the actual mechanical uh, equivalent. This part of the articulator also rotates in this fashion by loosening the bolt down in this vicinity here, it allows us to make such a movement. If we just turn the articulator here for a moment, you can see these numbers registered at this part of the uh, instrument record this axis of rotation. This has been referred to as Bennett's angle. In the front part of the articulator, we have this table here and this pin. This is called the incisal pin, and this table is called the incisal table. It allows us to set and to establish by this mechanical equivalent, this mechanical equivalent down here, the incisal guide table angle. By tipping the articulator slightly and loosening this bolt on the bottom of the instrument, one can now rotate this table in an anterior and a posterior direction, allowing you to set the mechanical equivalent for the incisal angle. This is an anterior-posterior reading, or the horizontal incisal angle. The lateral incisal angle is set by elevating this platform by way of this uh, nut bolt extension. One can do that again by simply raising the articulator and uh, gently extending this small uh, bolt here which allows you to elevate the lateral wing of the incisal guide table. In this position, uh, one then picks up the anterior-posterior component of the incisal movement as well as the lateral uh, component. We therefore have discussed on this articulator two of the five elements in Hanos Quint. The condylar mechanism, which is completely dictated by the patient's protrusive check bite, and the incisal guidance, which can be set on the articulator from the way that we arrange the upper and the lower anterior teeth. Now, the other three factors in Hanau's Quint, the plane of orientation, the relative cusp height, and the compensating curve, these are factors which take place and are developed within the, the central confines of this articulator within this area here therefore becomes extremely important uh, where we locate the maxillary and the mandibular cast and as you know that is one of the reasons for taking the face bow transfer it allows us to position the cast in relationship to the condylar mechanism of the articulator again as a review these five factors that Hanau has presented to us are extremely important in articulation and one must utilize this instrument 
to its fullest capabilities in order to achieve bilateral balanced articulation. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu/license.